Welcome to another ISTEC MSC Adams tutorial. In this tutorial we will continue building a small single cylinder engine in Adams. Open up the model board for the previous tutorial, building a small single cylinder engine in MSC Adams part 1. You have already started to build the basic geometry for this model. We will now finish this model. Since we already focused on design variables, points and basic geometry, we will not spend a lot of time on these features. Instead, we will rather focus more on connections, motions, contact forces and how to simulate the model. Add a point at the bottom center of a piston. Use the add to part and attach near properties. Rename the point in the model browser. Remember, you can execute a command multiple times if you double click the command icon. Add two more points to ground below the piston. Rename these points. Remember to always hit enter to apply a command such as renaming. Create a design variable for the rod's width and depth. Create two links between the points Assign the design variables you created to the conrod and the drive shaft By building the links on top of these points you ensure that the positions of these links can be modified at any time during the design process Double click a point in the model browser to edit the positions of these points. Use a point at every corner of the links you'd like to reposition. Use only one point combined with design variables for bodies such as a box or sphere. Rename the parts. Now it is time to establish the connections between the different parts. Select Revolute Join from the Connectors tab. Remember to always follow the instructions in the status bar on the bottom left side. Select the two parts to be connected followed by selecting the location of a connection. Clicking on the workspace is the same as selecting ground. Repeat this step to create a connection between the drive shaft and the con rod. There is many different connectors to choose from. Connectors define the way the two parts can move relative to one another. Hiding the cylinder makes it easier to select the piston and conrod when creating their connection. Fix the cylinder to the ground. This will ensure that gravity does not cause the cylinder to fall. Now you are ready to simulate the model and see how it reacts when only gravity is applied. The end time shows how many seconds you are simulating, while the steps indicate the frequency you are measuring at. As you can see, the cylinder does not guide the piston as required. Since we have not specified contact between the piston and the cylinder, this will happen with every simulation. Create a contact by selecting Create a contact under the Forces tab. Click in the I Solid Sticks box and select Pick to select the first part. Specify the second part in the J Solid you can also specify the stiffness, force, damping and friction that relates to the contact between the two surfaces. You have now specified contact between the two parts. The cylinder will therefore guide the piston when you simulate the model again. This time the cylinder guides the piston but the piston leaves the cylinder and then loses control. Double click the cylinder's point in the model browser. The points table will appear. Change the lock Y of point cylinder to minus 280. You can now simulate the model again. This is how the model reacts when only gravity is applied to the model. Now add a rotational joint motion to the joint connecting the drive shaft and ground. Find it under the motions tab. Edit the motion by right clicking the motion in the model browser.
You can now simulate the model again. This concludes part 2 of building a small single cylinder engine in MSC Adams. In the next tutorial we will focus on design studies, design of experiments and optimization. Thank you for your time and effort and good luck with the learning process.